hey guys welcome back uh, today I'll be working on another uh, room the name is mag grotto after a couple of days now I am able to record some videos on try hack me challenges so this room is quite um, simple I mean the previous part is very simple uh, there are a couple of steps steps we need which we need to cover uh, to get uh, to the user flag and it says follow the yellow brick road and there is no rent, uh, hint available so let's get started so first thing first um, let me grab the IP address so the IP address export export IP is this and then let's start with um, sudo and map and meanwhile this is working let's check uh, what is hosted on the 80 port um, HTTP so it just says uh, welcome to smack the site is under development come back soon let's check the page source nothing interesting here so we need to initiate the um, GoBuster as well, GoBuster or uh, Derbuster, whatever you like. So, sudo GoBuster. Uh, I will do with easy. Um, small, okay, small, and threats to fifty and rest is fine and it is started and in nmap nothing is there apart from 80 and 20 port 22 port and here we can see there is a, a page called mail so let's check what it is all about so it says um, network migration due to exponential growth blah 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 we are mi migrating the previous engineer had some network traces so hopefully they will give you an idea of how our system are addressed so let's um, save this and I try to download and here you can see um, that it says that there were some bug and um, he was unable to fix it he was unable to fix it so let's see what is in um, inside this pcap file so it is downloaded let's start the Wireshark to analyze uh, password and let's see if found anything else nothing so far so why shark is on um, let's open the <coughs> file which is uh, just downloaded so there are only 10 packets um, and it looks like this is a single conversation so let's see what uh, has happened on http follow http stream so we found some details here first of all there is a username and password and then uh, the there is a address called development.smag.thm so let's copy and uh, we need the uh, everything basically so let's copy this and um, nano notes so let's paste it here and we should uh, create a host entry with this thing control X and sudo nano etc hosts and let's paste 
the name here and the IP address is maybe let's just type 10.10.105.147 and save so I'm cancelling this scope buster um, and now let's uh, see uh, what is there on this page um, don't go to Google uh, it is just HTTP colon slash slash yes take me to this why it is asking like this okay so there is admin.php login.php if I open dot if I open admin or login basically it is redirecting to login only and uh, the username and password is here uh, username is help desk and password is change uh, now so password oh so I copied it but then I closed that Wireshark so anyways uh, the password is changed now copy paste login and we are um, welcomed with a web shell uh, is there anything in the source nothing so let's try with a couple of commands ls who am I my bad who am I so nothing is working ID so we can do we can do one thing like ping minus C and 127.0.0.1 so 2 uh, means a uh, count so let's see if um, it will ping this IP address so this page should not respond for at least four seconds so yep it's stuck in loading so basically our command is running so but there is no output um, uh, is is there so let's start the burp suit and let's uh, try to get a reverse shell so I'm switching over to burp and entering ls here and here we are on burp so let's um, send it to repeater and let's drop this packet and um, the syntax is simple command is equal to ls and submit so um, let's turn it off and let's grab the uh, reverse shell syntax so pen uh, test monkey reverse shell so this is the standard one which works for most of the time uh, this one so let's grab this and uh, paste it here paste and let's um, URL encode this control U and I'm changing the IP address 10.8.21.57 uh, 1234 is fine so <clears throat> let's set up the reverse shell on 1234 and let's send the request and we got a shell so now let's see what all things are here so admin login dot php um, let's check a couple of things uh, in the previous folder uh, html ls and html as well so um, nothing interesting here 
so couple of things uh, we can check and uh, before going to um, any other step let's upgrade the shell uh, python 3 c import uh, pty pty dot spawn and slash bin slash bash and I guess this is okay yep so let's see if we can check uh, the home directory we can uh, ls slash home slash jake and there is a user flag so user dot txt we can uh, jake slash user dot txt we cannot read that flag so we need to uh, check a couple of things so um, we can use linpiece or uh, any other <coughs> uh, scanning tool to find uh, what all things um, um, using what all things we can escalate our privilege so a couple of things you can try uh, beforehand like checking sudo minus l uh, searching for um, suid bit uh, files and one of the thing we should check is to uh, find out if there is a scheduled task enabled uh, or not so we can check uh, it using um, atc slash cron tab and indeed uh, there is a task scheduler enabled for um, rsa public key for check so basically it is uh, checking the output um, of this public key and it is uh, overwriting this authorized key so let's see if we can uh, write something here um, ls minus l paste and yes so it is owned by root but we can write uh, to this file so before writing it maybe let's go to this directory uh, it is it will be quite um, easier there ls minus l yes so let's check the output uh, jake dot id dot rsa pub dot backup and we can read the um, public key so let's go back to our window and let's generate a private public key pair ssh um, keygen hyphen t rsa um, let's keep this as a jake underscore thm passphrase blank and passphrase blank and um, here are public and private keys so let's um, copy the public key and I guess we can directly write it using echo command let's see if this will work and then let's just mention the public key here and I guess it is it has worked so uh, Kali at KL21 yes LS minus L date 9.19.9.19 so yes we are able to uh, overwrite it so let's uh, now try to take the SSH of um, uh, Jake so Jake THM this is the private key and the username is Jake and dollar IP so if this copy has been done then we should be in and we are so 
we can cancel this reverse shell uh, exit or maybe control C and let's close the burp suit we don't need it now and let's go back here so uh, ls um, minus l so we can read the user dot text uh, the user flag and let's see the root flag so we don't have any permission so a couple of things we should try is uh, like sudo minus l suid bits and all those stuff so let's check if there is anything in this sudo minus l yes we can run the apt hyphen get uh, command so let's check if um, we have gtfo bins we have any syntax in gtfo bins for for apt hyphen get so this is on top so we need sudo uh, syntax so there are a couple of methods so this is just one liner let's try this one enter and we are root so that's it uh, let's check the permission of root flag ls minus l slash root yes we can uh, read and uh, write to this file so that's it i hope you have enjoyed this lab uh, the previous part is uh, very very straightforward uh, using uh, gtfo bins we can escalate the privilege but the only only thing uh, which was important to understand those uh, packets uh, packet tracer using <coughs> wireshark uh, checking the login and putting the required host name in our host file and re browsing the the url getting into the web shell and uh, taking control uh, using reverse shell uh, as a normal user so that was a little uh, lengthy but uh, the the overall steps were uh, very easy so i hope you have enjoyed uh, if so please keep watching other videos and subscribe have a great day bye bye